Hey everyone, Rodev here, and in today's video, I'm showing you guys how to create this team, uh, team change UI in Roblox Studio. So, once you click this button, the UI will pop up, and you'll be able to choose your team. So, if I want to go to the blue team, I can click that. If I want to go to the red team, I can also click that. And as you can see, my team is changing in the top right, and also gets put in chat. So, I'm showing you exactly how I made this. So, I'm gonna hit stop, and the first thing I did is go to starter GUI. And if you can't see the explorer or properties, go to view and turn them both on. And once you have them on, you can create a uh, screen GUI in Starter GUI after clicking the plus icon. And then after that, in there, you want to create a frame and make sure the visible property is set to true. And then after that, in there, you want to create, um, actually not in the frame, but also in the screen GUI, you want to create a button. And you want to just uh, create some text in it using a text label and call it or uh, write team uh, change or change team on it. And once you're done with the button, what you can do is go back to the frame that you made and then create two more buttons inside of it. Remember, these are text buttons. And then you can uh, write some text on them, call it, uh, for example, red team and blue team. And make sure you name the buttons uh, something unique. And then after that, you want to go to teams and make sure both your teams are there. And once you have both of your teams here, you want to go back to the script. Remember, it's not a local script this time, it's a normal script. It's And it's uh, inside the screen GUI. Once you open it up, the first line of code we have right here is a local player equals script dot parent dot parent dot parent that's three parents then we have a frame is script dot parent call the way for child frame then we have uh, the team one b for team one uh, button equals frame dot red team button so remember that's frame dot red team button then team two blue team button then uh, game dot teams so game dot teams right here dot red team and blue team we have variables for those as well and then the open button which is this button right here and what we're doing is when the team one button is clicked we're setting the player team to team one and uh, when the team two button is clicked we're setting the player team to team two and uh, you guys can do this for as many teams as you like so i'm going to show you guys exactly how to add another team uh, to this later and right here we have the open button and basically it just sets the frame to uh, visible or invisible so to create another team just go ahead and make one and uh, call it something different like yellow team change the color to yellow and then after that you want to create another button I'm gonna call this yellow team button and I'm just gonna move it over here for now you guys can obviously make it look a lot better but I'm just gonna be doing this uh, to save time and as you can see the button is made yellow team and then after that we can go to the script and then up here first you want to do uh, local team 3b equals frame dot uh, yellow team button and then over here you want to do local team 4 equals game dot teams dot yellow team and then after that you want to create another one of these events so just copy and paste this much and then you want to do one for team 3 and set the player team to team 3 right uh, just like that uh, real quick I don't know why I wrote 4 over here we want to make sure it's 3 and then all should be good for errors and then uh, open button doesn't need to change and if I hit play I'll be able to show you guys that the new team is working so as you can see if I click red I'm on red blue I'm on blue and yellow I'm on yellow and I keep changing between them and I can also open and close the UI so yeah that's pretty much how it works and real quick don't leave yet I do need to show you guys to make it so the frame isn't visible when you join the game click the frame go to properties go to visible turn it off and then the frame won't be visible when you join the game so if I hit play as you can see it's not there but then I can open it I can change my team if I want to and I can close it and yeah that's pretty much how you make a team change UI in Roblox Studio but yeah other than that guys I'll see you guys in the next one make sure you like comment and subscribe and join the discord but yeah for the last time I'll see you guys again in the next one peace